Hello, this is Jew, and today we are going to be installing this new Sony Blu-ray player uh, so we can watch some Blu-ray discs on this TV. And this is actually a, uh, a wireless compatible. It has Wi-Fi built-in Blu-ray disc and DVD player. Uh, zoom in here, it's BDPS3200 brand. And we'll be uh, replacing this old Samsung DVD player. Uh, it works perfectly fine, but uh, I really want to play Blu-ray discs. And also, it has compatibility uh, with a lot of different apps. It could, uh, you know, do the Wi-Fi. It has built-in Netflix, etc., uh, Amazon, and so it has a lot of different uh, built-in components as well. So we'll be doing that today. And here's the Blu-ray taken out of the box. Now it's considerably smaller than the old uh, DVD player. And actually I've noticed this through the years. These are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And this little machine does what this machine does and much, much more. And in just a little tiny box. So we also have the remote. It comes with some batteries, the plug, and uh, some literature, some installation instructions. But one of the things it does not come with it does not come with uh, an HDMI cable. You'll have to purchase this separately and normally when you buy new uh, DVD um, devices you have to buy the HDMI cable with it. Now with the old Samsung DVD we had this um, uh, audio uh, video uh, cables here. Now this new one, this particular brand does not come with these uh, the plugs for that. It just comes with the um, HDMI cable. So just keep that in mind. If you uh, don't have a compatible HDMI TV, you may want to uh, go ahead and uh, purchase a different brand that actually has the AV uh, audio visual inputs. So the first thing I'm going to do, you may not have to do this, but I'm just going to unplug the old uh, DVD uh, Samsung player. And uh, I've already unplugged this, uh, the power, and kind of go to the back of the TV. Now your TV will most likely look different than this, but if you just sort of look around, you have a, a USB input here, a few uh, HDMI inputs, you may have one two or more uh, and then here's the uh, audio visual inputs here and I'm just gonna unplug these since I won't no longer need those anymore but uh, and put that aside now a uh, couple of things now a couple of things you want to note is uh, looking at your HDMI as uh, uh, your most new TVs do come with HDMI plugins now this one comes with three so one two three you do want to note uh, how many you have well not necessarily how many you have but where you're going to input uh, your new blu-ray player into now this one uh, comes with the uh, cable box and this is already plugged in to the HDMI one slot I'm going to plug in the new uh, blu-ray player to the HDMI two slot now this is important keep that in mind you have to uh, when you um, put the input into your TV with your remote, uh, it's nice to remember where your Blu-ray is and it'll kind of show up as number two. So keep that in mind. Okay, so this is the back of the new DVD player, as you can see right there. Uh, and what we have back here, we have uh, several, several plugs, like a digital uh, out plug, maybe that's to another uh, recording device. Um, here's your HDMI. Uh, out plug and here's a LAN cable, a local area network cable which we're going to be using Wi-Fi today but if you have a hardline connection to uh, your router you could plug that in. It, it just looks like a really big uh, telephone plug cable but we're just going to be plugging in the power that there's a 12 foot uh, 12 volt uh, power supply right there. We'll plug it in uh, in a second but we'll just take one of our uh, plugins, and this is what a uh, HDMI uh, input or plug plug looks like, and it's just a male end into the female plug. So back to the side of, or the back of the TV. Now again, I'm going to plug in the other end of the HDMI cable just to the input number two here, just like that, and I'm going to be plugging in the power to the new. 
Blu-ray player, and believe it or not, that's all you need for the hookup. So I just set it up here out of the way a little bit, and so I'm just gonna see if it'll turn on with the remote. I push the on button, and there you go. You might see that little light there, so that's operational. Just check the door. That seems to work okay. And we'll go ahead and turn on the TV and start setting this, uh, this device up. Okay, so I uh, have the tripod set up. You can kind of see me in the reflection there. But we're just going to turn on the TV. Uh, the unit is on the Blu-ray and see what we see. Okay, let's stick it on mute. Alright, and uh, what I'm going to do now, now this is just what's coming in from the cable. Uh, and so I'm just going to hit the input button on the remote. If you don't know how to change the input, you have to refer to the operations manual of your TV. But I'm going to hit the input. And you can see some input sources, the TV, HDMI 1, HDMI 2. Now, as I mentioned, the HDMI 1 input was, it was from the cable itself. Um, and I had plugged in the Blu-ray into the HDMI 2. So I'm just going to switch to HDMI 2, enter that, and the Blu-ray is on, so we should see some kind of screen. And yes, indeed, we do. And so it's just asking what language we're speaking. I think I'm speaking English right now, so I will keep it at that. And then here it's just asking, uh, do you want to do a normal setup mode or kind of a shortened setup mode? mode. We kind of want to just start with a shortened setup mode. We just want to get started here. And so we're going to hit on. Uh, and now um, and now we're just going to hit uh, uh, instead of finish, I don't want to finish, I want to do the easy network settings. So go ahead and hit that. Okay, here it's just uh, telling you that it's about to start some uh, settings, some internet settings, etc. So we'll just hit start this process. And now it's uh, checking for internet connections. Now again, we didn't connect it to uh, the LAN network, uh, which is the wired setup. We are wanting to set it to the wireless setup. So wireless setup in, is built into this machine. So we hit that and now it's looking for some wireless networks. And here you go. Here's a variety of wireless networks. and. And here's uh, one called Geo Juggler, and may, many of you may not have known, but I like to juggle sometimes, and I'm Geo, so this must be my network. So let's go ahead and click on this. And now it wants uh, essentially a password, so we'll go ahead and click that. And now I'm going to uh, turn off the uh, camera for a sec, and we're going to stick in my password so nobody else knows. So my password is entered, it's secret uh, with the stars there. So I'm just gonna scroll down to enter here. Gonna hit enter. And then uh, to continue, you hit the right arrow. And then it's gonna check and verify the, the password. So it did check the password. It took uh, probably about 30 seconds. And uh, now it says that everything's complete. I just hit okay. And now it's saying that an internet connection may be required to play back uh, a special contents on the uh, Blu-ray disc imprint. Uh, it's just asking, do you want to allow this or not? I think I'll just allow it. So here it's just asking about one of the apps, which is uh, Grace Note uh, settings. Um, I'm just going to you know, leave that at automatic. Hit enter. And now it's saying the easy network setting is complete. So go ahead and hit finished. And that should uh, pretty much do it for the basic setup. Uh, you have a variety of music videos that the instruction uh, will... This is a very common Sony screen, actually like PS, uh, PS3, PS4 players uh, look very similar. So if you're familiar with that, uh, you can kind of navigate. And uh, one of the things you want to do right away is go to the very left here, which is the setup. So if you did something wrong in the initial setups that we went through, uh, you can modify in here. Uh, you could go all the way down to, oops, let's try that again, uh, resettings, click that, and you can go back to the defaults. 
uh, the factory to default. So if you want to start all over again, you can do that. So don't don't worry that you can't go back. And one of the things you want to do now, some of these uh, machines have been sitting on the shelf for a while. So you, one of the first things you want to do is do a software upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and do a software. You need to be connected to the internet again. And I'm updating via the internet. And this may take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, close out. Hold on. Uh, update. Let's see, a new software version has been found. Okay, so if again, if it hadn't been found, it'll tell you that you're all the way, um, that your update is up to date. And uh, But right now, we want to update it and go ahead and start it. And there you go. And it'll, uh, it'll update until it gets to 100% and then go ahead and automatically turn off and you'll turn it back on again. And there you have it. Here we're back into the uh, screen again. Now a couple of things to look at. Now you could start playing DVDs right now. We could stick one in and start playing it. Uh, but if you want uh, a lot of the apps, um, like right here, so uh, internet uh, browser web display is available. Um, internet video update information is available so let's go ahead and hit this and see what happens uh, some uh, end user agreements etc do not agree let's go ahead and agree and it's going to be downloading a bunch of apps and here it says it's ready let's go ahead and close that and see what we have okay so uh, with the network it downloads uh, the app that it has available including Facebook uh, etc you have your uh, PlayStation your Amazon Netflix who uh, voodoo Hulu so there you go and if you want any other configurations like your audio inputs uh, screen there's some parental controls you could look at uh, system settings again just go ahead and play around but you should all be good to go just go ahead and open up I'm not sure if you can see that hold on let me zoom in so all you have to do is uh, hit the button here I have some born trilogy here in blu-ray stick that in and let's see what happens it should just come right up and there you go it's starting up and here you go so everything's set up well and so we should uh be good to go with movie watching i'll see you next time bye bye